Today's question is, what does it mean that God is Jehovah Rapha? In this video, I'll answer that question from a biblical perspective. Then afterwards, as always, I'll share some helpful resources, so stick around until the end. Jehovah Rapha, more properly Yahweh Rapha, means the Lord who heals in Hebrew. Jehovah Rapha is one of the many different names of God found in the Old Testament. The name Jehovah Rapha appears in Exodus chapter 15, verse 26. God says to the people of Israel, If you listen carefully to the Lord your God and do what is right in his eyes, if you pay attention to his commands and keep all his decrees, I will not bring on you any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. The context of God's revelation of his name Jehovah Rapha is an incident that took place early on in the wilderness wanderings of the Israelites. They had just left Egypt and crossed the Red Sea. Moses took them into the desert of Shur, where for three days they traveled in the desert without finding water. Exodus chapter 15, verse 22. The Lord was testing them and their faith. The Israelites' test in the desert was soon amplified. They came across a body of water, but to their great consternation, they could not drink from it. They called the water Mara, which means bitter. Their souls began to turn bitter as well, and they grumbled against Moses, saying, What are we to drink? Exodus chapter 15, verse 24. Moses did exactly what he should have done. He prayed to the Lord, and the Lord showed him a piece of wood. Verse 25. Following God's instructions, Moses threw the wood into the water, and the water miraculously became fit to drink. Immediately, after the Lord healed the waters of Mara, he identified himself to them as Jehovah Rapha, I am the Lord who heals you, Exodus chapter 15, verse 26. He doesn't just heal water, he heals people. The healing of the waters was a demonstration of God's power to overcome any impurity, contamination, or corruption. This power was going to work on behalf of the Israelites, God's chosen people, as the Lord brought them to the Promised Land. Along with giving his name Jehovah Rapha, God gives the Israelites a promise. I will not bring on you any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians. Exodus chapter 15, verse 26. This is a reference to the ten plagues that God had recently sent upon the Egyptians. Plagues including boils, the death of livestock, devastating hail, etc. Like many Old Testament promises to Israel, this one was conditional. God's people were required to diligently listen to the voice of the Lord your God and do that which is right in his eyes and give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes. Again, verse 26. Jehovah Rapha has the power to heal physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. Neither impurity of body nor impurity of soul can withstand the purifying, healing power of Jehovah Rapha. Jesus Christ showed that he was the great physician who heals the sick. In Galilee, Jesus went from town to town, healing every disease and sickness among the people. Matthew chapter 4, verse 23. In Judea, large crowds followed him, and he healed them there. Matthew chapter 19, verse 2. In fact, wherever he went, into villages, towns, or countryside, they placed the sick in the marketplaces. They begged him to let them touch even the edge of his cloak, and all who touched it were healed. Mark chapter 6, verse 56. Not only did Jesus heal people physically, he also healed them spiritually by forgiving their sins. Every day, in every way, Jesus proved himself to be Jehovah Rapha in the flesh. Want to learn more? Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Visit gotquestions.org for more great content and check out the details section below this video. There you'll find one book I recommend along with several links to related questions. If you'd like to learn about Bible Munch or if you're interested in bite-sized devotionals, subscribe to Bible Munch on YouTube. It's linked right here. Now remember, got questions? The Bible has answers. We'll help you find them.